I watched my big brother, Comrade Adams Oshomole. I was embarrassed. Dele Momodu says, <laughs> Where did you watch him? What did he say? <laughs> this, you know, the, the truth of the matter is that Adams Oshomole is never ashamed of himself or of any other person. Right from when he became the, the national APC chairman in 2019 and was campaigning for Buhari, he was doubling as party chairman and at the same time campaign organization chairman. And he was saying things out of the blues and he did never bother. That's when I know that. Hey, now who they shame for Oshomole? Now in the shame. Oshomole not the shame for himself. Okay, so let's see exactly what Dele Momodu saw that made him embarrassed about, um, you know, Adam Oshomole. Dele Momodu a respected Nigerian journalist and a political figure has recently expressed his disappointment in the public comments made by Adam Oshomole, acknowledging to, okay, according to Momodu, Oshomole's remarks were not only divisive, but also out of character for someone of his stature and influence. Watching Oshomole was a symbol of unity and progressive politics left Momodu feeling deeply embarrassed. Oh boy. So the core of the issue revolves around Oshomole's statement that seemed to dismiss a political candidate based on their inability to speak a particular language for Momo a particular language. So for Momodu, this kind of rhetoric is not only outdated but also dangerous in a country as diverse as Nigeria. So he believes that the qualification for leadership should be based on candidates' capability, contribution to nation building, and integrity, rather than on linguistic or ethnic background. Exactly. Exactly. We, and, and this is issue between Monde Pueblo and Aswe Wadalu. Okay. Uh, what uh, Oshomole is saying is that... Uh, Okwebolo is a homeboy. Okwebolo understands the people. Okwebolo is on ground. He sleeps in his place and he speaks his own language very well. Meanwhile, Aswe Wadalo is an important person from Lagos. He does not speak his language. If I recently Oshomole said Aswe Wadalo cannot sleep in his hometown because of witches and wizards, that such person cannot be, it's not electable. Those were his words. Okay, and when you hear somebody like Adam Sushomele making this kind of statement, what has witches and wizards got to do with somebody vying to be governor of his own state? That they cannot speak his own language fluently, is that a criteria? Is his own paternity and origin in context? Is it being contested? No. So what's your problem with that? Okay, so I think Budele Momodu is saying he's embarrassed when he hears somebody of Oshomole at his own status and caliber saying this kind of thing. Ethnic, ethnic background or tribal background or whatever it is should not be a basis for qualifying a governor. Hmm. Now, oh, wow. So, in Momodu's critic, okay, he stated, I watched my big brother comrade Adam Oshomole. I was embarrassed. He, he found it scandalous that Oshomole would suggest disqualifying a candidate solely because they couldn't speak a specific language. According to Momodu, such criteria are irrelevant when evaluating someone's suitability for office. Instead, the focus should be on the individual's achievements, character, and what they bring to the table in terms of governance. Exactly. So he further questioned the logic behind Oshomole's argument, asking what was the candidate uh, or what had the candidate contributed to the nation building? Is he capable or he is incapable? Is there any reason or any scandal that would disqualify him from being voted for? These rhetorical questions highlight the flaws in using language proficiency as a criteria for as a criterion for political eligibility for momodu what matters most is whether the candidate has a clean record and has made significant contributions to the country's uh, development hmm. momodu also expressed his concern about the broader implications of such divisive rhetoric 
he pointed out that in a state like Edo, where multiple languages are spoken, it is unreasonable to qualify someone based on their fluency in one language, one particular language. So for me, what Comrade, what Comrade did was in bad state. He should have campaigned for their own candidate in APC, he added. This statement underscores Momodu's belief that political debates should be focused on policies and capability rather than on exclusionary and divisive criteria. Exactly. Because even the Pueblo that are trying to campaign for, Pueblo cannot speak English very well. And English is the general language of everybody. So if you compare a Pueblo that cannot speak English very well and a Guadalu that cannot speak Essan very well, who or his own language, who then should be qualified? That is the question. Now, the, the Edo, uh, Uno Edo Renaissance Group organized the first Edo governorship debate for this group now. Okwebolo ran away. It was also Iwadalo and uh, Lumida Pata that attended. Okwebolo ran away. Okwebolo has been avoiding public debate, public discourse, public campaign, and everything, even press interview and press conference. He doesn't want to speak in public. Okay? And he has no manifesto. You can imagine an intending governor is saying that he does not need manifesto to rule Edo people and that Edo has been battered like a, an accidented car and he is going to walk Edo the way Panabita will walk an accidented car. Can you imagine that kind of statement coming from uh, somebody who would be governor and a city senator for that matter? Okay, so I, I agree with what Dele Momo is trying to say here. If you shouldn't use language as a reason to disqualify somebody and a, a particular tribe, I mean, a ethnic language, not even English language. Okay, if you that, that's what I'm saying that if you compare Pueblo who cannot even speak English, can only speak Essan, and now compare him to Iwadalo who can speak English very well, who should you take? Because Edo State has multiple ethnicity with multiple languages. So one language is not coming, or probably is not coming as a governor of Essam people. It's coming as a governor of Edo people. So which one will be the general language that he will use to communicate to everybody? It should be English. And the same English, a Pueblo cannot speak it very well. So who should be disqualified in this matter? <laughs> Nana, wow. I pity uh, Shomole. So Momodu felt so embarrassed that Ushomole, of all persons at his own status of, uh, of that caliber, can come and use linguistics, local language, ethnic language, as a reason for qualifying a candidate. Quite disappointing and unfortunate. And I know that people are people will react to Momodu's uh, statement here. Somebody said Ushomole is a disgrace any day. Of course, it's true. Since 2015, he became the APC uh, national chairman. That was when Ushumile became something else. Dilly Momodu is hungry politician. He feeds on politics. A person who believes a Fulani man to change another Fulani man. You call that a human being? And this person is saying something else now. Hmm. Oh my God. But as a fair journalist, you should have voiced out during the Lagos State uh, governorship election when the Yorubas condemned one of their own sons. Yes, Badibo revival, simply because he has some Igbo roots. So if you believe politics is about the personality and not tongue, then they shouldn't. Then why didn't you voice out back then? Or did you just learn it this week? Sadly, <laughs> I understand what you're saying now. This guy, I understand what happened to the revival because he because he has a, a combined parent of Yoruba and Igbo root. They denied him the governorship. Started calling him Igbo, even when his father is Yoruba, his mother is Igbo. It's very bad. They stoked ethnicity, ethnic bigotry in Lagos, and it's still causing problem to you now. So Dele Momodu did not speak out then. Why is he talking of a do or now? Can you imagine? There's never, it's never too late. Okay. It is unfortunate that Dele Momodu lacks the feedback mechanism to know how terribly embarrassed and ashamed a lot of people are about him. His hypocrisy is top notch. How can someone who worship, uh, who worship Demola Adeleke 
be ashamed of Oshomole. Uh, you in the service of Atiku Abubakar, yet you abuse Okupe for defending Tinubu. How are you different? Because Okupe did not align with emotional outburst on Tinubu, he is wrong. Mamadu expects by now riots will be going on everywhere to justify his opinion. Renu Omokri has cut daily to size. Nothing more to add, can you imagine? A lot of people are embarrassed at what you have become. The question is, even the Renu Omokri you called is an embarrassment to himself and to his own tribe. That is the truth. Because right now, the hatred people have for Renu is off the roof. In fact, he should check himself before he steps into Nigeria because a lot of people are very angry with him because of his behavior politically. So don't use Reno here as an excuse. If you can't compare Reno to Dele Momodu, no matter how bad Dele Momodu is, you can never compare Reno to him. So say, due to tribal bigotry of Oshomole and his people, the indigenous Igbo speaking people of, uh, of Ibanke in Edo State have been under the perpetual tutelage of the Beniz. They marginalize them politically, socially, and economically. Not be lie. A banker in Edo State is supposed to be under Agbo, on a car south. Okay? But I don't know why they, they put them in Edo, and because of their minority tribe in Edo, they never let them breach it tomorrow. Which is very bad. And also, daily you are embracing yourself. Huh? Daily you are embracing yourself, Mr. Daily. It's embracing or embarrassing. Can you imagine? If you think this will favor you, I tell you it is a big lie. Six or not even size. You know, feel right to yourself. Hi. So the thing here now is, the, you know, even a madman in Nigeria will have fun. But Daily Momodo has spoken his own concerning the the behavior of Oshomole, you know, tribalistically in a state towards this oncoming governorship uh, election.